Hello. So I'm Lamar Williams, and I'm with Antlink. So what we see as the challenges that many companies are facing uh, within the supplier chain is uh, many factories are developing software and integrating that into new products. And so OW2 believes, as we do, that managing software integration is uh, obviously important. So which is why they've included us in the squat uh, with Fossology. Antipedia Reporter uh, is our product, and we are doing a lot of code analysis of what's actually integrated into uh, specific uh, code that is being scanned. So Fossology on one side is doing license analysis, and we're taking it a little more in detail. So Antipedia Reporter and Fossology combined um, provide a best-in-class solution for your software development teams. <clears throat> and how that works is Fossology on one side is doing a very static uh, scan of your software as far as license and bringing in the copyright information on a local level. And Antipedia Reporter takes it and does a bit more of a dynamic scan and brings in more than two million open source components that it's scanning it against on our knowledge base. So it's giving it a bit more detail, the license information and potential vulnerabilities. So once you get into Antipedia Reporter, uh, this is one of the first pages that you're going to see is the Bill of Materials report. And from here, uh, the Bill of Materials is bringing in the information that was just scanned uh, as far as components and the dependencies of the components. And it's bringing it in here and specifying it into se separate categories, as you can see, um, from open source to proprietary software, uh, your, your internal software, and also an undefined area, which is things that weren't found on Antipedia or um, under Fossology. So from here, you can actually see the dependencies area. What it's bringing out is version name, um, or excuse me, version, license. You can see Fossology's license, what it got from that specific component, and the copyright uh, information from Antipedia Reporter and from Fossology. And where Fossology does not bring in information, that's where Antipedia picks up the rest. So if it's not found on the local level of the specific component, when we search the Antipedia knowledge base, which is bringing in a lot of third-party information, um, you'll be able to see that in the Bill of, Bill of Materials. So the next page is where you can actually modify and customize your bill of materials report. So here you have many different policy license information, and it's integrated into Antipedia Reporter so that you're able to simply select a use as policy, and that'll become your my policy for that particular project that you've scanned. So if we were to pick say, proprietary compliance and use that as policy, that'll be listed in your My Policy area for any project that you're scanning. In the future, we plan on making that uh, specific to individual projects, but at the moment, it's, um, you just can select one and use it across all projects, okay? And just so you know, all the policy license information is based off of SPDX formats. Okay, so Antipedia Reporter also gives you an interactive tree map, which is under our release view. And so what this allows you to do is drill down into specific information in the code that you've scanned. 
So, or in the project that you've actually been looking at. And so it breaks it down by dependency file and folder. So the color coding is actually based off of the previous screen where it's showing the, uh, the license policy that you've actually selected, and it's bringing it in here. So it gives you a clear map of your entire project and allows you to drill down into specific areas. So it's similar to as you would look at on your computer screen, if you look to the left-hand side here, you can actually click on drop-down menus to bring the specific folders out and see the files within. And with that, you can actually uh, activate it so that it shows up into the tree map area as well. And then below, you can see the history of the releases of those files. So you can get more information in the lower area and also get the actual file path by just clicking on uh, see in Antipedia, Antipedia URL, or view the content within a specific dependency. So this is one of our newest areas of Antipedia Reporter's dashboard. So this is the summary area where you can get um, the percentage and the numeric value of your specific project as far as how much or open source is within it. And it's really a great visualization tool for, say, your management team to uh, start meetings and provide them specific information on the particular project so they don't actually have to look at the bill of materials report. They can see uh, where, it's, where specific information is ending up in. And it also gives you the security level on the vulnerabilities. So when we get to Antipedia, Antipedia is a free and public site, so you're able to go there uh, just by going to antipedia.com. And it's bringing in more than 2 million open source projects and components from Google Code, GitHub, various source repositories that are funneling into Antipedia, which is giving it its name, which is the world's largest knowledge base of open source projects. So from here, you can do a lot of searching. And this is what's actually funneling into Antipedia Reporter and giving you the Bill of Materials report and the uh, interactive tree map. So again, with Fossology, you're able to activate this Fossology scan within Antipedia Reporter. This was not available before. They were two separate uh, solutions. And now they're coming together. Um, so that you get the most of uh, your scanning ability. And so you can either choose to do that on an Antipedia server, or you can do it through the OW2 Fossology server, so depending on what you prefer on doing. So together, um, it's providing a comprehensive solution for your OW2 mature projects. So here is just an example of what information you'll actually get. So from the tree map, the bill of materials, the dashboard, and the specific instances which are listed above. This is actually not available yet. It should be available in the next three days or so. Um, but you can see a demo um, of that information, which is at demo.antipedia.com. Okay. So you're going to come into this as a guest user. And what you'll actually do is go ahead and click on Sign In as Guest. And it's going to pull up the various, well, this would actually be OW2 information. And so you can see um, these specific projects here in the version. So if you click on this one here, it'll open up, and you'll actually get your dashboard. So as you can see, there's Percentages here, you can choose your different variables if you want to see it by file or by dependencies. Um, so we keep that, and then it'll bring up your various um, percentages and numerical values here. Okay, and so if you go to the Bill of Materials report, um, and you actually click on, 
say a file or a component, it'll come up below with all the dependencies for that specific uh, file dependency. And so you can get the copyright information. You can see here, as far as the licenses are concerned, this is what's pulling from Antipedia. And this here would be from Fossology. So where you don't see the Fossology information, Antipedia reporter has brought that in. And where there are matches, that does help you in understanding, well, you know, I'm up to date uh, with this portion or, um, if you needed to double check on, I don't know if we can actually do drop down columns. You can add specific columns to this. And you can get the latest version also. So you can see this particular file dependency is up to date. OK? And then if you go, obviously, if you go to the release page, you can definitely drill down into specific information. And this will come up in the below area when you click on various uh, dependencies there. And then where I was talking here, if you open up a folder and you want to see this particular dependency, you'll call, say display and tree map. And that, those areas will actually come up here and you can see them there. Before the question, just to add, to add a few words, uh, we, are, we are very close to open source community and uh, we are also very proud to uh, purchase our technology to AW2 since a long time. Uh, a lot of Antipedia reports are, are today available on uh, W2 project and we have developed this specific guest mode uh, to give you the opportunity to have all this information in terms of dashboard or in bill of material reports directly is in uh, a W2 uh, portal. So uh, this product is going to be launched uh, probably, to, uh, not probably, it's be launched uh, tomorrow. Uh, so it will be uh, integrated by Alexand in a couple of days and will be probably available in the next couple of days <coughs> on uh, W2. Thank you. Yeah, so just, just to add, uh, so the, the current physiology, rep uh, the, the current Antipedia reports that we have uh, were the ones that were generated uh, uh, mainly with a previous 1.x version and some with the 2. something version. And it's uh, previously, because we didn't have the guest mode, what I did is I did the, the CSV HTML export, and that's the ones that you can download today on the OW2 website. And we're very excited to be able very, very soon to have, uh, for the end user, not just the boring uh, spreadsheet, but a real interactive tool available for everybody. So we thank you guys for providing that to us. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.